Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this week's Sabbath School Nugget. Before we begin Sabbath lesson, would you please take a moment to hit those like and share buttons? And as always, please feel free to leave us a comment or a question in the comments section below. We love hearing from you. Also, I want to say thank you to Thando for walking us through last week's lesson and her insightful thoughts on the Old Testament hope. This week's lesson is entitled, Resurrections Before the Cross. Our memory text for this week comes from John 11, 25 and 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even if he dies, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die forever. Do you believe this? Sabbath's lesson reminds us of the power of God to actually raise people from the dead. First you have Moses, and then we end with Lazarus. And then there were 500 people who were raised from the dead during the crucifixion of Christ. As the lesson points out, there are two points here to remember. One, when Jesus says that he is the resurrection and the life, we know it to be true. This is no empty promise. Surely, if God can raise others from the dead, then we know that he can raise us from the dead as well. Secondly, in none of the accounts of people being raised from the dead, is there any mention of an afterlife? Imagine the complaints that should have taken place. Follow me here. If these people had died and gone to heaven, and then all of a sudden they were pulled back to this sin-filled planet, don't you think that at least one of them would have asked, why did you bring me back? Think of the 500 who, for many, may have been in heaven for hundreds of years. Who, I mean, would you want to come back to earth after being in heaven for hundreds of years? And not yet one complaint. Uh, the fact that they all were happy to be back tells us that there was no afterlife in the grave. They had been dead and gone. Sunday's lesson brings us to the resurrection of Moses. Now, some of the early church fathers from Alexandria who believed in the immortality of the soul tried to argue that when Jesus raised Moses from the dead, he didn't raise Moses' body, he raised Moses' soul. But the Bible doesn't support this. Imagine this. Christ, after burying Moses' body, decides to come back and raise Moses from the dead. And Satan is there, and he is horrified at this display of Christ's power. He knows that if Jesus can raise Moses from the dead, then Jesus can raise anybody from the dead, and now the followers of God have a powerful basis for their faith and their hope. Satan tries to stop Jesus, claiming that because of Moses' sin, he belongs in the grave. And notice in Jude 9 that an argument doesn't break out over Moses' soul, the argument is over who has the right to Moses' body. And as the lesson points out, when Moses and Elijah meet with Christ on the Mount of Transfiguration, Elijah was not there in spirit form because Elijah had never died. Moses is proof positive that Christ would have gained the victory over sin and death, and as such, would gain the victory over sin and death for us all. We all have away out of the grave. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow.